Hi, I'm Robert McNaughton uh, with the Integral Center, and this is an update for our fundraising campaign to help us recover from the floods. And I'm excited to be here with my good friend and a big part of our community, Ali Shanti. And we're actually here in your house today, mm -hmm. and it's a beautiful late October afternoon, and we're going to talk about community. Yeah. This somewhat uh, nebulous term. Um, and I'm really excited about this fundraiser, besides the fact that we need the funds to help us get back up and running again, but also this being an opportunity where I get to tell this audience and tell you about what community means to me, means to us, and all that's really important to us so that you can get a better reason as to why the Integral Center um, needs your help. And so thanks yeah, for joining thank me, Allie. You. And, and let me just say that not only does the Integral Center need your help, but the Integral Center could be one of the best places for you to invest. And one of the things that I've been thinking and writing about quite a bit lately is the idea of community being the new currency. Totally. And so here's an opportunity for you to actually live that reality and put your investment dollars, put your money where it will really matter uh, the most not only for right now, not only for this center, but for your own uh, ability to really impact the future by investing in community. And um, I, just, I just see this as one of the best investments we can make. Totally, I agree. And you know, I've lived in Boulder for about 16 years now, and I noticed that to find community, people tend to gather around a certain activity, like maybe people are rock climbers or mountain bikers or something like that, and they get their community, their friends, and the closest people in their lives through that process. But there aren't any organizations or commons that are there specifically for hosting community, and that's one of our uh, missions with the Integral Center. Mm -hmm. And I love this idea of community as the new currency, and that's totally showed up as true to my life. And I think everybody is, you know, is familiar with the term social credit. And really, when we have an organization and a commons around fostering community, it's a perfect place to invest our time and energy into the places where it matters the most. Mm -hmm. And this flood is a beautiful example of that because as soon as anybody in the community started hearing about, well, my basement got flooded, or you know, it's coming into my yard, instantly people were, you know, stepping up to help each other out and. That's that's the really the priceless nature of community that when we need it and we never know where we're going to need help the most, whether it's floods coming in or uh, in financial crises or in any number of things that, uh, you know, we have to struggle with this day to day life. Having people is, is really the, the most important thing we can have. I, I think that's exactly right. That we're focused on you know, saving money for retirement and making sure that we have enough resources to support us for the rest of our lives. But when we really look at it, especially in the, in the case of a natural disaster like the Boulder floods or a hurricane or an earthquake or tornadoes, mm -hmm. anything like that, when money doesn't matter, which happens in a, in, a, in a crisis like this, when money doesn't matter, what matters is the people. Mm -hmm. So in our own community, for example, with Wee's family, yeah. um, there was a member of our community and his house was being lost to the flood. Became an island, yeah. Totally yeah. lost his whole house. Yes, and because of his investments in this community specifically, uh, at least three members of the community galvanized, went there, saved him, saved his family, got them out of there. And at that point, it didn't matter how much money we had right. access to, how much money he had in the bank. What he had is he had social capital totally. that he was then able to pull out of the bank and know that his family not only was totally taken care of then, but given free places to live, uh, totally just everything that they lost being replaced. Another member of our community, Sujana, yes. lost everything in the flood. And now, several, a couple months after the flood or a month or so after the flood, Sujana's life is actually better than it was before right. because of what's been replaced as a result of the entire community coming together and upgrading everything that she lost right. so that it's really her access to community, not her access to cash, that is really paying the greatest returns from her at, for her. And that's because she's invested in community all of these years. And so I'm seeing this campaign as a way for you to invest in community without having to spend years and years and years doing it. This is a shortcut process for you to make an investment in community that will pay back at some point in your life. You don't know exactly when it's going to be, but I 
promise you that at some point you are going to need community. You don't know when, you don't know what's going to be going on, but this community is going to be there for you and you're going to be so glad that it is. Right, and it's not like caring for each other is a new concept, um, but having uh, resources for that, having organizational resources that can support people with just having a place to be with each other yeah. is, you know, at its core what a community center is all about. And beyond that, the Integral Center, we focus on the best practices that we know of to help foster that even more. We are in a daily practice of creating opportunities to get into deeper relationship with each other so that when anything arises in our lives, um, not only do we we know more people, but we have better uh, means by which to receive from them and ask for help. Mm -hmm. Like one of the practices we do is is learning actually how to to ask for help. That it actually takes a lot of vulnerability, and that's what I'm you know really taking a master's class in now with this campaign is asking for your help. Absolutely, and and really the practices that take place at the Integral Center are the linchpin to us learning to live, work, and love in community. And that's the cutting edge, is yep. that we can all think about wanting to be in community and have ideas that we want to get along better and we want to be able to live together better and work together better and love together better. But I have not seen another organization that is actually helping us to practice it on a day-to-day, moment-by-moment basis in the way that the Boulder Integral Center is. It is just an absolute, um, uh, really, um, immersion in what I call Jedi training mm -hmm. for uh, learning how to live together and how to be together. And I just can't imagine a better thing to invest in for our future. Yep. The stock market can crash. It can go away. We don't know what's going to happen with the social security system. What I know is that the most important thing that I can put my time, energy, and money into is learning how to be with people in community. I tried to start my own community, and what tore it apart is the same thing that tears apart just about every community that tries to start interpersonal conflict, inability That's to right. get along. And the Boulder Integral Center is making it happen, making it work by day-to-day, moment-by-moment practice of right. interpersonal relating. Right, practice and, you know, failing. We're, we're by no <laughs> means perfect, but that is our intention, is to become better and better at relating by going through these conflicts with each other. And you know, there's probably the best and brightest people I know in Boulder have been resourced by the Integral Center in one way, yes. shape, or form. And so at its most simple, um, we need your help just continuing to do our work, so to continuing to focus on creating resources for each other so that our communi community can continue to be growing and healthy. And for you to be able to access those resources as well. Yeah. So that at any time you can drop in, do a circling lab. Uh, and circling is a practice of really deeply being seen, felt, and heard maybe more deeply than you've ever been before. And that's one of the beautiful practices that the yeah. Integral Center hosts on a regular basis in this beautiful community space where you can drop in, you're feeling a lot of things inside. Maybe you can't put words on them. Maybe you just aren't feeling heard with your spouse or your partner or your friend or in a business context. And you need some reflection. And so you just drop right into the Integral right. Center and there you have it, knowing and feeling yourself maybe more than you ever have before. Right. That, that's really well said, Allie, that you know, our core practice of circling is just the practice of learning how to understand each other better and mm -hmm. to be understood better. Because frankly, most of the conflict that I've ever experienced in my life and what I see in the world boils down to misunderstanding. And so that's one way that uh, the Integral Center is not just resourcing the local community of Boulder, but helping people around the world uh, learn how to facilitate this practice and just how to be understood and how to understand better. And um, I, I like the fact that there's a place in the world that's explicitly focused on that, and we want to really kick it up to the next level, and, and I really think we can do that with your help. 
Well, let me mention as well for people that are not in the Boulder community, yep. how can this Boulder Integral Center benefit you? Thank you. The Boulder Integral Center is a template and a model that's being created here. We're working out all the kinks and the bugs, doing all the trial and error, so that you can then take this into your own local community and replicate it. And having this be a success here, having us make you know make it through this crisis situation where a big infusion of capital is needed due to the floods, um, is really uh, taking things to the next level. It's allowing us to take things to the next level so that you can have that model to use in your own community even if you're not here. So once you participate in this campaign, you're part of our community. <laughs> yeah. No matter where you are in the world, you are part of the right. community. You can come in, you can learn the model, you can discover the template and then take it out into your own community. And that's ultimately one of the big visions of uh, Robert and the Boulder Integral Center. That's right, yeah, Th thanks. And yeah, please, you know, stay in touch with us and uh, we'll try to keep on sharing our success stories and failures, and, you know, for the benefit of everybody out there that's trying to foster community that's a that's a community leader. And, and you are a community leader if you have a family, if you are with people in your work, or if you're anywhere you're with people, you can be a leader of bringing more of what you want and more care. And, and we're uh, would like to, to help you with that. And um, so stay tuned in with this campaign because I'm looking forward to talking to more powerhouses in our community like Alley, where we can unpack all of the principles and the practices of uh, what we believe in and, and why people care about us. So thanks and, so and much. And how it can benefit you. Yeah. So thanks so much for being here and yay, let's thanks, do Allie. this. Yeah. <laughs>